Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on whether you need 8 or 16 gigs of RAM with the M1 Mac Mini. Now, how much RAM you need will depend on the work you do. Just to give you some background as the type of work I do, I'm a visual content creator. I'm into graphic design, digital art, I edit photos and videos almost on a daily basis. So recently, I upgraded from the Mac Mini 2018 with 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, 6 core Intel i7 to this M1 Mac Mini which has 16 gigs of RAM. So um, the main reason why I upgraded was because this 2018 model is actually capable of editing 4K videos smoothly on a 1440p resolution display. However, when I connect this to a 4K display, the editing process occasionally lags slightly, as in when I play back the timeline, occasionally there is stutter. When it comes to editing 4K videos, I need the editing process to be smooth, so that's the main reason why I upgraded to the M1 Mac Mini. And so far, the experience is fantastic. I was able to edit 4K videos on a 4K resolution display without any lag so that's actually a huge upgrade so as to how much ram you need so usually when i am doing work i have my video exporting in the background and i would edit my photos to prepare for the thumbnails that i am about to create with uh, affinity photo and also i may actually write my blog post so I have my web browser online or I may do some research while I'm writing my blog post. So I have Adobe Lightroom, Affinity Photo, a graphic design app, and Final Cut Pro and Google Chrome, uh, these four apps running. Let me show you the activity monitor. This is how much memory I'm currently using with all the apps running. Currently I'm using 4.6 gigs of RAM for the apps white memory is taken up by mac os so it's currently using four gigs occasionally it would drop down to over two gigs compressed memory is memory used by the inactive apps or apps in the background so usually i'm using around seven to eight gigs of ram so technically speaking i can actually get by with just eight gigs of ram when i'm exporting my videos or editing my videos while editing photos doing some graphic design and surfing the web at the same time i've got to say that the memory management with mac os um, it's pretty good if you take a look at this uh, graphics here green means the memory is being used efficiently yellow means um, you may want to get more ram but generally speaking most of the time i have green here if your workflow is more intense than me then i highly recommend you get at least 16 gigs of ram but if your workflow is not as intense as me you can definitely get by with just 8 gigs of ram the RAM is not user upgradable, so you have to decide whether or not to upgrade the RAM at the time of purchase when you're buying this direct from Apple. And to upgrade from 8 to 16 gigs is 200 US dollars, so you can decide whether or not it's worth your money to upgrade the RAM based on the type of work you do. If you have limited budget and you're thinking of whether you should upgrade the RAM or the internal storage, I recommend you upgrade the RAM because you can upgrade the storage later on using external storage. The Thunderbolt 3 and the USB 3 speeds, uh, transfer speeds are actually more than fast enough for editing 4K smoothly. And if you are thinking of upgrading from the 2018 Mac Mini to the M1 Mac Mini, if this is still running smoothly for you, I don't think there is any compelling reason to upgrade the main reason that I upgraded, as mentioned earlier, is because I had some issues running, sorry, editing 4K videos on a 4K display. 